I feel fulfilled listening to the presentation of the chairman of the visitation panel. The reason why I said that, it seems to me that the committee painstakingly identified the critical areas of my expectation. And I can say that listening to him, I am convinced beyond doubt that they did a very good job. I can't wait to get the addendum as said by him. I will take back this report, look at the report, but I want to assure you that every recommendation in this report, to the base of my knowledge and the opinion of the government, that will help better the lot of the university, the overall benefit of our people, and indeed humanity, will be implemented. We are from this eastern part of Nigeria, where education is in hot demand, where our people must acquire knowledge, where things must be done rightly and properly. When we see respected men and women of high integrity as represented in the chairmanship and membership of this committee bring out their time to serve in conveniencing themselves, sometimes paying from their pocket. We don't have another thing to say but to thank God and commend them. We are indeed very grateful. And I can tell you, sitting in this place, your expectations will not be disappointed. <clears throat> Imo State University must either be a university or not a university. <clears throat> Going forward, we must comply with extant rules, Public Procurement Act, due process in the way things are done. Because that way, we have a society we will be quite to our children and grandchildren and the, all the people yet unborn. So let me thank you. On behalf of the government and people of Imo State, I once more say again, thank you.